Good morning, everybody. It's Margaret. With you guys, some quick and easy ways to do some niche research for maybe things that are trending or things that are upcoming. Uh, the reason I decided to go ahead and do this video this morning was because I was going to do some research for myself. I wanted to just do some quick pop sockets this morning, and I was like, oh, I'm kind of stuck. Let me think. What can I do? What can I do? What's trending? What's upcoming? What's you know what what's going to be fresh? I don't know if you can hear that. My dad's flushing in the toilet. Anyway. So I thought, hey, let me come on and share with you guys exactly what I do uh, because, because why not, right? I get a lot of questions about it and this can help not only me, but also you. So let's just dive into it. So I'm going to be doing some screen sharing with some different places that I go and peaks and kind of my thought process. That's crazy. But my thought process for how I kind of merge different ideas together. Good morning in the chat. Thanks for coming, you guys. Okay, so first place I go look when I'm kind of stuck for an idea is I'll go over to Google Trends and I'll look at, you know, explore topics and see, you know, what are daily trends that are going on. Pardon the background noise. It's, it's just life, right? So, um, and I try to take what's going on in the back. Sorry, I was saying background noise. I try to see what's going on in trending topics to merge with what I've got ideas for. So whether it's something to do with politics or sports or just anything, fashion trends. So I, I just kind of scroll through, you know, I see MLS. So uh, that's something I might work into it. Now, when I see Lollapalooza, obviously, like, I can't use Lollapalooza or CrossFit or things like that. But what I can do is know that, like, okay, CrossFit, that's workout stuff, right? So I can merge, you know, people are searching for workout stuff. Or Lollapalooza is one of those big, um, like, concert events, you know, like Coachella or all these. So something to do with a an event like that that people are going to. Now, I can't use that specific title, but I can try to work that into a, an idea that I might be working with. So another thing, hang on, let me flip it back over so you can see. So I'll go through that and just kind of see what people are looking for currently. Uh, a lot of politics stuff. Uh, the next thing I do is I'll go over and just do a Google search for like what's coming events 2018 in the fall or winter, or I'll do, you know, what's trending events. And I try to do fall and winter um, because then that's something that's coming up. <laughs> My dad's looking at me like, who are you talking to? I'm talking to them. <laughs> so I'll go over to the just Google search and see what's trending and what what different outlets are thinking are going to be trending. Oh, thanks, more light. That's good. <laughs> um, so when I did that, let me flip it back over so you can see. So when I do that, you know, I see lots of things, you know, coming from uh, either news outlets or fashion week or things like that. And so what I'll do is I'll open them up in different tabs. And so you might think, oh my gosh, what am I going to do with fashion week stuff for, um, you know, like a, a shirt or a pop socket or something like that. Well, here's what I do. Let's say I'm making a pop socket and it's got a cat on it. Well, I might use a filter on that cat with something that's trending in fashion, which it sounds like maybe it's whatever, but it works for me. So, I mean, like I did the same thing. One of my shirts that, oh, maybe I don't wanna share because I share it with my patrons. Um, so let's, let me take it to a different place. Um, let's say I've got a cat shirt and I, you know, superimpose an American flag on it. So something like that, I, I've had something like that very pop, you know, sell very well. So taking things that are popular and putting a filter on it with something that's trending. So when I look at like fashion week stuff, here's what I look for. I look for um, what kind of patterns are they using? You know, what kind of colors are they using? Are they using, you know, what's hot in colors right now? Reds and bright colors. And over here, this, you know, this one is like, I see reds, I see poppies, I see plaid. So, you know, maybe I make a plaid cat or maybe I make a cat that's got, you know, poppies and flowers on it. Or I'm using cat, but you can take cat and make it whatever else it is. Um, and I'm telling you, this this is what I do, and this is what works for me. Um, so also another thing I'll take a look at, you know, with that, you know, I'll just scroll down. I don't dive deep into the different um, 
articles because I haven't got time for that. But, pardon, there's the dog. So I'm seeing like animal print and let's see, here's another one. This is an article that was, oh yeah, winter and fall trends. So animal prints really big, like colorful animal prints too. So, you know, I might do something that's like a day glow green leopard print cat. I don't know. But I mean, it's, and like I say, I know it sounds goofy, but it, it's really what I do and it really works for me. So there's that. Um, and then this is an article about what's out, what's in. So again, anyway, this is what I do. I'm not going to go through the whole thing. Um, and then I had another one. And then this one is a politics thing. So, you know, politics is really hot right now. We got the midterm elections coming up. If you're, you know, designing and you're not in the U.S., you know, the midterm elections are really big right now. And knowing um, what the hot topics are, it can be really uh, beneficial for you. Now, I'm an equal opportunity mercher. So like when we had our presidential elections, I didn't just make shirts for the political party that I was rooting for or the candidate or whatever. You know, I went for both sides of the of it. So if anyway, so that's something to think about too. Don't just, you know, do what you particularly like or believe in, which is good to do, but also know like well, what's going to appeal to somebody who maybe thinks or enjoys something a little different than you? <clears throat> so that's something to think about, too. So taking a look at what's going on in politics and knowing what's trending um, with with things like that. So what is this? Okay. I guess we got the Pyeongchang Olympics. Is the Winter Olympics up there? already happened. <clears throat> no, no, no. The other Olympics happened. Okay. Uh, oh, no. These are totally things that... All right. Um, so people going to the moon, that might be something, you know, that I mean, you could totally make a shirt about that. What is this? Um, headless robot cat. Okay. Um, so yeah, just, just taking a look at what all is out there and so penguins, right? I mean, this is when I do this, I just scroll. This is exactly what I do. I just scroll through and whatever pops in my head, that's not trademarked is what I go with. You know, I saw penguins. I saw esports. I don't know what that is. That's, you know, oh, I see Titanic. So something to do with the Titanic, maybe. I don't know if that's trademarked depending because of the movie or, but there might be something you could do. Deep sea, deep sea exploration. There you go. You know, going down looking at boats. I'm sure there's a name for that. People that treasure hunt underwater. <clears throat> I'm sure there's a name for that. So something about going to the moon. Uh, World Cup already happened, but I bet there's still people buying soccer shirts, etc., etc. Okay. So, <clears throat> pardon me. So that's what I do. Um, that's just a quick and easy way that I go through and try to find some um, niches that are maybe trending or upcoming that I can just kind of spark some ideas in my head when I am looking for for ideas in the moment if I kind of hit a wall. So anyway, um, I know there were lots of people here. Hey, and I know there's lots of background noise here. Hey, um, but I just wanted to come on and share that with you guys this morning before I got started with my day. And I will see you guys later. Enjoy and have a great day, everybody. Bye all.